How's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from m one newscom For my Latino subscribers, hola como estas? Yankees fans, there's been reports out there that the Yankees have given up on going after a starting pitcher for 2018 to start the season off with. I guess they're confident enough with the rotation that they have. But in my opinion, as you guys have heard on my previous videos, I think that the Yankees, as of now, with their starting rotation, does not match up against teams like the Red Sox, Astros, Indians, etc. The reason why I say this is because we don't know if pitchers like Luis Severino are going to have the same years they had last year. People are forgetting his 2016 season where he was put into the bullpen because he couldn't even find his strike zone as a starting pitcher. But then we all know he got with Pedro Martinez, and supposedly he helped him fix himself up. But who knows? The real test for Severino is in 2018. And why do I keep highlighting him? Because he's the only pitcher in this starting rotation that has high velocity. They can get you those strikeouts when you need them. He's about a 230 to 250 strikeout pitcher, on your rotation which comes in clutch when let's say you face a team like the Red Sox let's say a series where you need a showstopper and Severino is that pitcher to shut down a team we all know if you're doing your homework JD Martinez has crazy numbers against Tanaka and Sonny Gray I don't know about these other pitchers on the Yankees maybe he has high numbers when Severino was bad in 2016 but who knows like I said, folks, the Yankees going into the season kind of reminds me of last year when they could have gotten a pitcher via free agency or trade. So in my honest opinion, the Yankees rotation as of now does not sustain holding on to first place or let's say come the trade deadline. I could see the Red Sox coming out the gates with their solid starting rotation, they do have a legit bullpen as well. And like I said, folks, the Red Sox came in first place in the AL East with the most fewest home runs in the American League. And like I keep saying, they just upgraded. So what's this talk about the Yankees not going after a starting pitcher via free agency? Boone was quoted today saying that the Yankees are not in talks or in the running for Cobb or Lynn so I'm guessing they're not in the run for Arietta as well so this doesn't make sense to me because we all know the Yankees coming into this offseason they wanted to obtain a starting pitcher in Otani and they wanted to add a solid pitcher to that rotation then we heard about you Darvish and then it comes out that the Yankees were really not interested in Darvish and Michael K supposedly said that the Yankees offered you Darvish a deal and supposedly gave him 48 or 24 hours to accept a deal. So I don't know where Michael K came up with that one. So yeah, it's a lot of question marks for me with this rotation. And again, I don't think Manny Machado signs with the Yankees in 2019. Brandon Drury is in real life friends with Bryce Harper. If you see his Instagram, Bryce Harper comments him all the time he's even in pictures with him so Drury looks more as a piece to lure Bryce Harper into the Bronx personally for me I'm not really feeling that move Bryce Harper for some reason is hated throughout Major League Baseball my choice is Nolan Arenado for 2020 maybe you could trade for him come the trade deadline in 2019 and in my opinion, again, Nolan Arenado is one of the best players in baseball, an RBI machine. People might say, oh, he plays in Colorado. No. Look at his defense as well. He's an overall beast playing baseball. I don't think Colorado has anything to do with his ability to play defense as well. So in my opinion, it looks like the Yankees have skipped out on Manny Machado. If you ask me, it was a dumb decision. They could have got him easily because we all know with the acquisition of Brandon Jury, you still need to give away your prospects because you added him. So either way you look at it, folks, the Yankees need to get rid of prospects. They need to trade these prospects away because, like I said, they're not going to see the light of the day. 
And yes, other people are saying this was a low blow to Andahor. Yes, I agree with them. Andahor had this. They gave the keys to Andahor and then just made this move out of nowhere for some apparent reason. Once Brian Cashman is in love with a player, trust me, Brandon Drury is not going to be a utility player. He's going to start third base for many years to come. So that's that move that went down. We're not going to see Manny Machado in the Bronx. I like Didi Gregorius at shortstop, so I don't see that move happening. I don't see the Yankees signing Manny Machado to play shortstop when you have Didi Gregorius, who's not going to cost you much once he, let's say, becomes a free agent in, in 2020, something like that. He's not going to cost that much. He looks like he enjoys being a Yankee. Whatever deal the Yankees throw at him, he's going to take it. So, like I said... I don't know who told the Yankees to get Brandon Drury. The only logical reasoning is that somebody said, hey, look, this guy's best friends with uh, Bryce Harper. He'll be a great piece to lure him in. He's already a great player in the Yankees' eyes. I guess his extra base hits, his doubles, they think is going to translate to home runs. But like I said, folks, it's not all about the long ball. The Yankees can become offensively slow by experimenting with unproven players on their team. I like Torres at second base. I want him to start the season at second base. Like I said, if Danny Espinosa is plugged at second base, I don't know, man. If I were the Yankees, I'll plug Drury at second base and start Andahar to start the season, then give Torres a few weeks or whatever in AAA, then move Drury to third base. That sounds better. But well, like I said, the Yankees' plans concerning Manny Machado are not there anymore, which is disappointing to me, knowing that Manny Machado wanted to be a Yankee and the Yankees are investing in Drury because he barely cost anything. He's going to cost nothing for about four years. So this is another reason why I don't understand the Yankees not obtaining a pitcher via free agency. Obviously, they're not making other moves for a while. So you got to scratch your head with this one, folks, why the Yankees didn't want to upgrade their starting rotation. I guess they're going to wait for the trade deadline, but maybe by then it'll be too late. Maybe by then they'll be, as projected by me and others, a wild card team. Like I said, the Yankees could have made more splashes and more signings or trades this offseason. The jury trade, I see it as 50-50. Some people like it. Some people do not. You had the Andahor fans. You had the Mostakas fans. You had the Machado fans. And then this deal just comes out of nowhere. And then when you do a little bit of investigating, you see that this trade was maybe done to lure Bryce Harper to the Yankees. And I see a few blogs have picked up on my video of my little conspiracy theory when it comes to that. So the projected top three teams are currently 3-0 in spring training. You have the Astros, the Red Sox, and the Yankees 3-0. So like I said, folks, give it a full season or half season to see how the Yankees play out, how their starting rotation can keep up with these other teams. And like I said numerous times, me – the Salmonetti report even, that the Yankees needed to upgrade their starting rotation. Hey, they want to go into the season without that other proven pitcher on their starting rotation. That's up to them. But in my opinion, a lot of things went right last year. We saw Tanaka give up a boatload of home runs. I don't see that changing this season either. So, like I said, a lot of question marks with that rotation. Do the Yankees fall back to their farm system called a Sheffield up? Maybe, but the Yankees need a proven ace, a proven veteran on their rotation. Just as that name Verlander was popping up last year, the Yankees could have got him. And people keep saying no, they couldn't because they would have peaked over the luxury tax. No, if the Yankees wanted him, they would have got him, made a few moves here and there to clear space. So, again... That's what the Yankees have been missing for quite some time, folks. An ace, a veteran ace like that, like a Verlander, that can carry your team single-handedly into the playoffs. So, there you have it, folks. The Yankees are out of the running for free agent pitchers. I highly doubt Arietta is in those conversations as well. Aaron Boone, it came out of his mouth that the Yankees are not looking into Cobb or Lynn. So, leave your opinions in the comments section below. Tell me what you guys think. 
So, like always, Yankees fans, thanks for the support. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Like always, folks, share and like and subscribe. I will check you guys out next time.